What's going on YouTube? Here's my everyday carry items. I want to show you what they are and what I like about them. And I'll start here first with my keys. Nothing too special. I have a Night Eyes little flathead pry bar and bottle opener. And it has some hex sizes here. Uh, you know, a couple keys. I like keeping these minimal because I do like carrying extra gear around. Here I have some Apple AirPods. I believe these are the first ones that came out. This thing's all tore up. I probably need some new one. Here I have a Travex wallet. I think this is the original 2.0. This has the G10 scale on it. And overall, great wallet, especially for the price at which I got it for. It was $35 with shipping. So, great little wallet. Feels durable and a quality product. And I believe I linked them in the description below to Amazon. I think it's a little bit higher on there, but you can find it in the Amazon links. And here I have about $200. And the money clip says it holds five bills, but here's 10. Here's the EDC organizer. I don't know too much about this brand. It looks like a small company out of California. And this is called the Man Purse by... So I'll go ahead and open it up by Top Stitch in Redding, California. So I picked this up at a thrift store. It was about $5. I didn't want to pay $5, but I thought it would be a great little organizer. Pretty basic. It's just, you know, functional. Opens up and there's all your gear inside. I think they market these towards uh, firefighters or something in that nature. And so I threw some EDC gear in here to show you how I set it up. I believe on their website this thing costs $16, so go ahead and check them out. Up first, I have a Leatherman Free P2. This is a great multi-tool. These cost about $130. I picked this up pretty much new from a pawn shop for about $67, so I thought it was a great deal. Uh, I have used this quite a bit, but here's the needle nose, wire cutters, pliers, basic things, but it feels great in the hands. And I'll go ahead and show you the tools. So all the tools have like a magnetic uh, closure and they all lock. So I'll go ahead and try to show you that feature of a magnetic closing. So there it is. And I saw that you can flip the tools up right on the back here to select which one you want which is a cool function here is a Phillips plus a bottle opener a flathead plus a pry bar and these tools on this side are thicker than the ones on this side which I like that in the fact that it gives these tools more durability because I have broken the Leatherman Skeletool multiple times so here is the scissors on here have worked great, cut zip ties, cardboard, paper, and it's done flawlessly. It has a file plus a flat head. Let's see if I can get the next ones going. Here is a flat head wire stripper and I believe there's a measuring tool on the back. I don't think anyone really uses those. Here's an AW plus a smaller flathead and a can opener. So a great set of tools here. I do like the multi-head of uh, the flatheads. In some scenarios where you can't, uh, you know, in tight areas, let's say you're fixing a kid's toy, this one will work great while this one might not fit. So I don't use all the tools all the time, but when I do use them, it usually gets the job done. So great overall product, you know, I feel for the money that this thing costs, that it's a great tool and it gets most things done. And now I saw someone in the comments say, why do you carry two knives? Well, here is the Leatherman knife. And here is my Benchmade Griptilian. So you can see the wear and tear on this Griptilian. It's beat up. Um, I probably shouldn't have ripped open bags of concrete, but that's what I used it for. And why I would not use this and use this one is the fact that I want to keep this blade nice. So if I have to use it, 
it's sharp, it's good, good to go. And if I break this knife, then I gotta send it into Leatherman, which I don't wanna do. You know, it's not the most uh, thick blade, while this one is thicker, you know, it's gonna last, you can pry on this one. If I break this one, so be it. But, you know, I don't wanna ruin any tools and I tend to ruin tools at work, so I like to keep this knife blade nice and clean while I'll beat up on this knife all day. So one thing I love about the Griptilian is the fact that it's a full-size knife. I believe it's th almost three and a half inch blade, a four inch or four and a half inch handle, and you get a good grip on there. It's pretty thick, so I have large hands. So something like the Benchmade uh, Bug Out those are super thin and when I hold them it doesn't feel as good as this one so that's one reason why I like this Griptilian here is the Streamlight MicroStream this is a great flashlight for thirty dollars it is rechargeable I would always recommend getting a rechargeable flashlight so you're not changing out batteries all the time and costing you more money I've had this one for I think two to three years now has a charging indicator, charging port, uh, port, and you can click it on. And here's narrow, wide. So that's a great function. It also has a great battery life. I believe it's an hour and a half on high and three hours on low. And here in the middle, I have three small zip ties. I haven't really used these much, but something small, lightweight. And if I have a need for it, then I'll use them. Here is a small Norwalco pen. This is probably some Chinese brand, but this is three and a half inches. It's small, compact, and it gets the job done. I have fairly large hands, but I can make it work, especially for signing paychecks. I will make it work. Or taking measurements on my notebook for work on things that I need to get done. And here I have a little small, you know, Band-Aids, hand sanitizer, and they're all in uh, protective film because I tend to, it's hot outside and you sweat and then your moistures get on your band-aid and they start falling apart. So that's how it's set up. <clears throat> and then here is a notebook. There's nothing special. I think I bought three of these at Walmart for about a dollar. So here's the organizer. And this did fit in my pocket and you could fit you know three tools here three tools here and probably the same on the bottom <coughs> there is a small little pocket here for which I assume to be for a pen and the only thing to take in consideration the more stuff you put in here the thicker it will get but this is a pretty thin setup already it lays flat it has a velcro strap here and really nothing on the back I think it's a clean nice setup but thanks for watching this video make sure to hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys later